All right, another Teen Angels, and this one's 226. If you notice the girl with the pants, she's also like on the front cover of a Street Low magazine, so I'm assuming the Street Low magazine came before, and then someone just copied it, and uh, and he put it for the Teen Angels front cover, so a little cool similarity between that, and yeah, I, I love the... Just the whole drawing in general. Gangster girl, the the big uh, the big head looks really cool too. The hair, the shading in the hair, and the grill on the on the Oldsmobile looks freaking. Um, I love all those lines. And this is really cool too. Like just the super black blacks and the really light lights. I like the the contrast between that. You know, because sometimes when you're drawing, you're kind of um. Some artists are too afraid to go really dark. And I'm, I'm glad this artist was able to, to do both. But let's get started. And yeah, you know, Teen Angels magazines, I guess, they featured Sexy Highness and Firme Highness. I don't really know what the difference between those two websites were, but... I wonder what those websites even were in the first place, you know? Um, did people just upload their photos there? Or did people take their photos and upload them to to those websites? But, uh, you know, you got a little bit of everything. You got some information. Art director was Marisa H. Editor DJ Brown. Designed by L. Smiley, that's one of Teen Angel's sons. And Teen Angel's Records, by Yasso, by Yasso, by Yasso, by Yasso. And this whole page was to advertise for his music, by Yasso, which is also another son of Teen Angel, who just recently passed away this year. And then here we have a super cool drawing, someone looking to a, a ball and you see they're looking at their reflection and yeah and the front cover what's the information about the front cover cool cool it looks like um they're like at a car show and there's like a a vendor down here on the bottom left with posters that say um, Teen Angel and they have Payaso's face on it. And then on the top the top right you got Payaso and Jimbo. On the bottom you got Smiley, Nacho, Fonzo, Jimbo, Dodger, Stadium. And then it looks like what they're at a car show or a tattoo convention. And man, this this magazine has a lot of pictures. Teen Angels Magazine dot com picks by Volo. Yeah, early two thousands fashion man. And I guess um, this is an uh, artist called Dolly Girl. And then I'm assuming the dude in the bottom in the middle is also an artist. Here you got feedmehindness.com. Hell yeah, dude. Feed me highness. And now what I've been waiting for the art, Arte by Shade. The face looks really nice, but the hands look kind of wonky, the fingers especially. But then, like everything down here looks cool, the smoke, the sun, the face is really well done, but her hands and her fingers, <laughs> they look kind of funny. And then on the right side, at Tambien, Shade 06. And this one looks really cool. The payaso, 
the shades, the the buildings. The girl's face looks really nice. The the skull, everything about this drawing is cool. I guess um hands aren't his strong suit, but hands are really hard to draw in general. Hands, feet, fingers. Back to more pictures. On the left side you got two pictures that are kind of like pixelated. They're like some like 140 HD or something. On the right side you got La Juni Harbor area. I think that's um La Chamorita's daughter, I believe. And right here we got more drawings by Vincent Medrano again, a Teen Angel regular. Man, I love his collages. There's so much stuff going on. And then right here you got a signature. También dice Juni. Huh, I wonder why Juni is so important to the Teen Angels legacy. Or at least to Vincent Medrano. On the right side you got a drawing by Anthony Jimenez. He's 25 years old at that point. Imperial CA. Cool. And this one's really cool. The one on the left. Got that realistic style. And on top of the girl's head, man, all those little hairs. This food drew every single hair, man. And yeah, it looks, it looks very complex but it worked out well i love this line back here like the shadow it really separates the the chick on the bottom from the chick on the top mm -hmm. very cool and then on the le on the right side you got mejia that's an artist from the original teen angels man now look at his hand and his fingers Super well done. And I love the face and the hair. Ah, oh, can't get enough of it. And this one has um, spider webs everywhere. That's pretty interesting as well because they're all kind of um, going out in different directions, but it all works. And then here we go, or here we got Teen Angels. More more pics by Jimbo <laughs> from sexyhinans.com and at this point I don't know what in which direction Teen Angel was going. Um I guess he dabbled a bit in in the adult film industry. Who knows? But in the bottom right there it says Boise Idaho's finest and on the top Albuquerque New Mexico Highness. Damn dude, Boise gets freaking um Scandalous, can't even tell if those are white chicks. You know how white chicks are when they try to mix with the Mexicans, they get a little freaky. And then this is a cool drawing the gangster, the gangster of love. And yeah, um, this one right here looks like a pimp with two, two dancers or performers on top. Some food with a bandana, and then looks like the same dude but in jail. And he's sitting on a clock. Mm -hmm. What? The centerfold. Pimpin. Dude, the girl in the, in the jacket. Freaking badass. I love all those, all these little folds. Man, super cool. He made it look like leather, like it's reflecting the, the light. Teen Angels. Super cool. Low and slow, 39. East, East Cider. Man, the girl's boots. Really badass.
I just noticed that there's a tiger in the background. <laughs> and I think the background is just like clouds or something. Man, even the headlights, there's, you can see the detail in there. Super cool. Again, I don't know what happened with this drawing. I don't know the way they edited it. Um, it looks too white and then it looks kind of mushy right here. I think the drawing was darker in general. And then in Photoshop, you know, they turned up the brightness. And when they turned up the brightness, it kind of burned the, the drawing. But the hand looks freaking badass, dude. Very well done. That man, her face expression looks really good. Sometimes when you try to draw someone with like their mouth open, it looks kind of goofy, but this guy drew it very well. And then this right here, you got like a, a cherub. Did I ever tell you you're my something? You're the wind beneath my wings. Another cherub, my little angel. Harbor area, Pelican Bay. Sur. Somebody plays. Junior Melendez. Delano, bright soon and smile. Man, this is a really cool drawing by Billy, can't read the last name, but man, the wings for this one, and this one is all about the wings, so many crisp cuts in there, again, same artist, Billy, and the, this who's coming in hard with the wings, and on the right side, you got Vida, P. Martinez, again, I, I don't know why they did this or who was the one that kind of like scanned the image or kind of um, edited the image, kind of made it all weird. I'm wondering how the original version looks like. Tambien Vida, same style, same artist. I don't know what went wrong in the printing process maybe here we got another one by billy 2006 man the wings look really nice and again with that realistic style super cool here you got hoover la lovely los wgs designed by lovely And on the right side, you got a, an, another collage. <clears throat> Third Street RSP. This one looks like it could be a cover of a, of a Teen Angels magazine. San Pedro. I was about to say San Perro. The license place is Juliet by Fermin. Fermin Garcia. Freaking love this guy's drawings. Again, I think this looks like Chamorita, but again with that realistic style on the face and the hair looks pretty cartoony. And the car, dude, I love the reflection on the on the panels. So cool. This side you got. Vincent Medrano, damn, they put the two badasses together, Fermin and Vincent. Cut to run, Guam, Isla. Hella sick, dude. Back to the pictures, we're getting near the end. Pomona Tattoo Convention.
R.I.P. Juan Jimenez, a.k.a. Youngster. There he is with his music. On the bottom, Mr. One repping with his fans. Pretty cool. And if you look at his hand, he's he has a camcorder. Pretty cool telling of the times. Two more pages. The girl with her belt. <laughs> Where is this? Sexyhighness.com. Picks by El Volo. And again in, in Pomona. Picks by Smiley. Teen Angels. Cool, cool. And yeah, this um, chick started getting fat and on this on this page. Same with the dudes. If you notice, people just started getting fat in the eighties. Everybody kind of looked like Danny Trejo kind of kind of style, but then people just started getting fat in the in the two thousands. These guys are all kind of pretty big, you know. And in the, in the 80s, you didn't really see that many fat people. Hmm. But that's it. That's, that's Teen Angels. This one's kind of... The chicks look really cool. They look really nice. But then, I don't know what Gories is on their shirt. Gories? What, what the hell is that, dude? What is a Gories? But that's Teen Angels 225. Peace.